Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the Brave browser. Now I've been using the Brave browser full time for now for about a week. And I have some thoughts. And most of them aren't good thoughts. <laughs> uh, I'm switching back to Firefox, but uh, I think I should tell you why. So let's go ahead and jump in. So this is what Brave looks like for me. I've managed to get an extension so I could show, show my custom startup page and new tab page. So that comes up every time I open up a new tab, which is good. That took a while because the extension store or whatever on Brave is actually the Chrome Web Store. And the Chrome Web Store is horrible. It's just completely disorganized. The Firefox Web Store is way better. Uh, but that that's beside the point. So I got that set up. Strike number one when I switched over was that it did not transfer my bookmarks over well. So it actually went through and and it's not even easy for me to show you this because I've hidden the bookmarks so completely so I can't get to them. But um, what it did was it completely ignored every folder I had in Firefox and just dumped them all into one single folder. It's like I was complete. I mean, <laughs> I'm a little bit of a, a, a nerd when it comes to organizing my bookmarks. They have to be in their organized, titled, and tagged folders. It's just the way it has to be. And it really triggered my OCD seeing them all dumped into one folder. So I couldn't even use it. I ended, I ended up having to go through and use my bookmark script that I created on video a few weeks ago in order to actually get my bookmarks you know, able to be used. Ne needless to say, that was not a, a pleasant experience. I could have worked past it. For anybody who has been watching this channel for a while, you know that my browsing experience looks like this. This is Firefox and Firefox allows you to go through and alter the CSS of the actual Chrome which is you know the features of Firefox are on the sides and it allows you to change this stuff using CSS like I said and I got my you know my bookmarks over here and I got some pin tabs and the tabs and the URL bar and it's highly custom right and I, you know, I spent ages getting this done and ages learning how to do it and it's you know it's something I'm you know kind of proud of. I'm happy that I'm happy with this workflow. So changing to something that looks like the, that some to something that looks like this was a difficult chore, and you can't change anything here. So the only thing you you're allowed to change is by using you can use the system title bar and border. So if you turn this on, you get close marks, which is you know or close buttons which you don't need in a, in a tiling window manager. So I got rid of those. That's the only thing you can change. You can't move the home button or refresh button, anything. You can't move any of the stuff. It's all just there. So you, like in Firefox, you, even in Firefox, if you don't enable like the user Chrome functionality, you can still move around every button. Like it's just a, a feature because it's a feature on every open source browser or, or open source piece of software. Really, if you right click on a, you know, a, a selection of buttons, chances are you can hit the customized thing and move them around. Almost every piece of software I know of that's open source does that. Most of them anyways, okay. But the point is you can't move anything here. So that was strike number two. The third strike and the reason why, the, the biggest reason why I hate Brave is the cryptocurrency nonsense. And it is nonsense. So I understand that if you have a ton of like Bitcoin or whatever, you're a rich person. Congratulations. I'm, <laughs> I didn't get on that bandwagon and it's too late for me now until it crashes, then maybe I'll buy some, but I doubt it. The, the, the point is you may have a ton of Bitcoin or whatever cryptocurrency, but you can't spend it anywhere. Not really. I'm not in, you know, you can, maybe you can buy something from Amazon from it or somewhere online. But if you drive through McDonald's or Burger King or whatever and say, hey, I got some Bitcoin for you. you can I have a burger? <laughs> it's just not going to work. I mean, it's just not the way it works. And for, so for me, I think that cryptocurrency is nonsense. But that was, I mean, and we all know that, crypt, that Bitcoin is going to crash and crash hard eventually. I mean, everybody knows that. And the NF, don't get me started on NFTs. But I mean, all that stuff is beside the point. The point is Brave does this weird thing with cryptocurrency and that's how it blocks ads. But in order to reward certain creators who have opted into their ad system, they send you these weird notifications through your notification system that are actually ads. Now, if you're using Dunst, 
it doesn't actually do anything. All it does is show you the ad, and it goes away after like two minutes. Like, I mean, the, the dismissal time is is very long and it's annoying. But you can, I mean, you can click on it and go away. But I don't want to have to, every time it comes up, you know, click on it. I don't want to have to do that. The point is, is that they they're forever, and they don't do anything, and they're not relevant most of the time. Half the time, the advertisements are just for Brave itself. And and that's especially the case on the mobile on the on the um on, on the mobile I did it again on the on the on the phone <laughs> um every advertisement I've gotten on there and yes they send you push notifications on there that are ads they've all been for Brave Brave itself it's never once been for something other th than Brave and that, I mean that to me that just shows that they can't get advertisers you know now on the bra on the desktop. I have seen ads for other things, but like I said, if you're in a tiling window manager and you're using Dunst for your notification system, you click on it, it just goes away. So I mean, even if you found an advertisement that you wanted to click on and know more about, it actually doesn't do anything. So that's a, that, I mean, that's one problem. The other problem is that it shows you these ads all the damn time, and I'd much rather just see ads. You know, if I if I'm gonna see ads on like a website, I'd much rather know that I'm supporting. So like I run uBlock Origin. I think pretty much everybody who's a technologically sane person does you know but then I will go through and like whitelist the sites that I know I want to support and that I know I trust so that I can support them right with the brave system 99% of the web doesn't support their their cryptocurrency nonsense they have to opt in in order to get that and I mean you can go to Facebook you can go to YouTube you can go to the verge you can go to reddit whatever none of these websites you know have the ability to take this cryptocurrency and, and like even individual creators like um if we go to youtube.com I don't know I don't know if I went to like anybody's website here let's just go to a, a, a big youtuber let's go to distrotube let's actually let's go to Brody because I know he uses his uses brave so let's go up, up here and see if I can actually I'm like okay see that's something I didn't know so he is something that I, somebody that I could de donate to so it does work on YouTube which I didn't actually know um, but <laughs> not that I have any to donate to him I mean but the idea is like if I went to another person let's go to um, I don't know post podcastage here I don't think that he's going to be yeah see he's not this is what you see most of the time not verified yet refresh status and it's just obviously going to stay the same because he's not verified through Brave and why would he be because nobody uses Brave for the most part compared to Chrome and I think that's where I come down to is that all the little nitpicky things that I've talked about today I mean you, I could put up with like I said I could put up with any of them even all together I could put up with the weird way it does bookmarks or the weird way it imported my bookmarks I could go through and fix that or just use my menu I could put up with uh, the the UI staying the same I could just get used to it it's not a huge deal I mean whatever I mean it's the way browsers always used to be so whatever I could put up with the ads because I could just figure out how to, I could either disable them because you can disable them uh, or you know you, I think you can change the frequency um, or I could just figure out how to disable Dunst for Brave I could figure out how to do all those things because I think there's a way to keep an, a certain application from using Dunst all those things I could put up with but my idea is why oh actually let's go through and let's show you this this is an ad right here. So this is actually a lending tree ad. If I click on this, nothing happens. Um, so completely, completely useless ad. And I should, I mean, we could have just sat there for like two minutes and waited for it to go away. But uh, and that's how long it would take. I mean, like sixty seconds would be way better. But it's like it feels like two minutes. But anyways, like I, I was saying, I could put up all of that stuff, but I don't understand why I'd want to. If I need to use a Chromium-based browser, I would just use Google Chrome. Or I'd use something like Vivaldi, which has a unique uh, user experience. You know, because you can put the tabs on different places, you can put the bookmarks along the side, you can do a whole bunch of different things with Vivaldi that you can't do with Brave. You can't do it with Chrome either, all that much. You know, you can do it with Firefox because you can go through and change the the user Chrome of Firefox, but you can't do it with these other ones. So if I was going to use a Chromium-based browser, I'd use Vivaldi, or I'd just use Chrome. There's nothing with brave that says hey use me that's makes it special because it's not special it has this weird cryptocurrency nonsense that, and 
that most people and most creators can't or don't take advantage of. And on top of that, it's not a good ad blocker. It doesn't have a good ad blocker built in. So the whole thing is that it, you're supposed to be using their ads instead of the ads that are embedded on the page to support the creators, right? And the ad blocking in Brave is just not good. It, it blocks most advertisements, but half the time it leaves holes where the ads are supposed to be instead of removing those holes. And it makes the layout of the web pages look really odd. So half the time I just install eBlocks Origin anyways and use that as the ad blocker. And if I'm just going to do that, then I'll stay in Firefox or I'll use Vivaldi or I'll use you know Google Chrome. There's no real reason to use Brave. I mean, I understand if you're going to be, if you're like a huge YouTube creator. So like there's a reason why Brody Robertson uses Brave and that's because he gets paid to do so. I mean, not a lot of money, obviously he's not getting paid millions of dollars, but the same thing with Luke Smith. They, they make an, they have a big enough following to get, you know, some kickback from Brave that it makes sense for them. But for the normal person there, I could sit here and use Brave till the end of the year and probably earn like five dollars <laughs> I mean that's just it, it, I mean granted it's five dollars more than I'd earn if I use a different browser but I have to put up with all this other weird stuff right it's a thing so my experience with Brave has not been I mean it's not it's not a bad browser it's not it's a uh, it, a little bit faster than Firefox you know because Chromium is faster than Firefox and Chrome is faster than Firefox but other than that, I mean, there's no, like I said, there's no redeeming qualities that say, Matt, you have to use this browser over Firefox. Now, there are reasons not to use Firefox. I mean, you can disagree with t a ton of uh, Firefox's, or the, you can disagree with the management of Firefox's and their political stances all the time, and I do. I think they should stay out of politics all the time. I also think that they should probably not take Google's four hundred million dollars, and then spend it all on the top like five percent of the executive branch. <laughs> you know, like they, they, their CEO makes like three million dollars a year or something like that, some crazy amount of money. I don't know if it says if that's the number, but I mean, it's it's an insane amount of money, right? And it's an open source thing, and it, it doesn't take all the. It's a huge organization for just basically one product. But that's just Firefox. So, I mean, there's reasons not to use Firefox, and I've tried to find alternatives to Firefox, especially after their whole "we're going to censor the web" thing that went on a couple months ago. But I, I haven't been successful. I'm still on Firefox because of the user Chrome thing. So, anyways, so that's Brave. In the comments below, let me know: Do you use Brave? Do you use something else? Um, I'm sure I'm going to get somebody out there saying, "Well, cryptocurrency isn't nonsense." I have lots of cryptocurrency. I'm like, well, you know, I have lots of cryptocurrency too. I have the library stuff and I have some stuff from from Brave it's not worth anything <laughs> uh, I don't have any of the I don't have any of the cryptocurrency that's worth anything that's probably why I think it's nonsense if I had some Bitcoin I'd probably think it was really great and say woo I got some I got 20 grand in my pocket you know um, <laughs> I don't have any huh? that's just sad for me I guess um, anyways thanks for watching make sure you follow us on Twitter at the Linuxcast you can follow us on Facebook at the Linuxcast you can also support, support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash Linuxcast with that in mind I'd like to thank our current patrons Devon Marcus we have a new person I'm gonna mess up your name uh, Maglin uh, uh, message me and tell me how to pronounce your name because uh, I'm, I'm just gonna butcher that uh, American Cam thanks everybody support for your support Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.